Hey, what's up everyone? Just a quick and chill update for those following the Eden Emulator project. Version 0.0.3 RC1 is finally out for Android and desktop. This release isn't the final one yet, but it's packed with upgrades and feels a lot smoother compared to previous builds. So what's new? First off, Android users get a lot of love this time. The UI's been improved, the layout feels cleaner, and some features from desktop were brought over. Frame skip was fully removed for now, and there's an option to use your phone's native keyboard instead of the firmware one, which is way more convenient. Shader building is also now shown in the performance overlay, so you can see what's going on in real time while gaming. One cool feature I like is the driver fetcher. It checks your device and recommends the best driver for performance. It even lets you download and install it instantly. Super helpful if you're not sure what settings to tweak. Multiplayer was improved too. You can now create or join public lobbies, and it verifies rooms in real time. There's also better support for older phones, Bluetooth controller fixes, and even a game search bar in landscape mode. Oh, and the app has a new background now. Just a small touch, but it adds to the fresh look. On the performance side, they fixed a bunch of crashes, improved game compatibility, and worked on visual bugs in games like Fire Emblem and Zelda. Vulcan rendering got big fixes too. So if you had black screens or weird flickers before, this update might fix it. Of course, it's still a release candidate, so not everything will be perfect. But if you like testing new features and helping with development, now's a great time to jump in. You can grab the update now from their GitHub. That's it for now. Chill update, solid progress, and Eden Emulator just keeps getting better. Catch you on the next one.